Uh, okay, so a little birdie told me you've got a little book out. So yeah. Tell us about this new book. Yes, absolutely. It's, uh, it's titled Own Your Industry, How to Position Yourself as an Expert. Uh, and the first thing that always jumps out at me is the color that Penguin Publishers went with on, on the cover. My own color scheme is like the Lord of the Rings. It's all <laughs> dark grays and moody, somber tones. And they went with yellow, white and red on the cover. And it's a lot of yellow, Fred. I, I reckon a <laughs> surprising number of canaries had to lay down their lives to achieve this cover. <laughs> but I, I will say this, though. Penguin know what they're doing because you walk into a bookstore and it absolutely jumps off the shelf. I mean, the color really pops. But essentially, the, the principle behind own your industry, how to position yourself as an expert is very simple. It's saying, how do you become the big name in whatever you do? And it doesn't matter what it is you do, whether you're a, a high level corporate executive or a cartoonist. It's the principles that make people uh, the, the most recognized and renowned name in their industry. So essentially, it's saying, how do you become the Jeremy Clarkson of your field, the, the Nigella Lawson of whatever it is you do, the Oprah of your industry? And um, where, where can people buy this book? They are available all over South Africa in uh, bookstores. Look for the uh, canary yellow cover, Own Your Industry. Um, but they're also available worldwide as ebooks, And they can be downloaded through, uh, through Amazon and through, in fact, all of the other stores that service Kindle devices. Like, do, you, do you think writers should, is that the, the way forward in the future, ebooks and Amazon? Yes, very much so. It's been an interesting experience for me because through through Toastmasters and speaking, I've built up quite a, a big base of friends overseas. And it's been fascinating to me that people have been buying it all over the world and sending me feedback. Uh, and I mean, you know, quite aside from how what a, what a wonderful thing that is financially, because there is zero cost. It's downloads for free. It's free money. Quite aside from that, it is just remarkably satisfying to be able to send something out into the world, and it's literally into the world. That's mm -hmm. something that speakers were not easily able to do 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. Um, and so how, how did you get Penguin to snap it up? Did you pitch it to them, or how did it come about? Yes, yeah, I, I'd love to tell you that uh, uh, they landed in my backyard with their uh, helicopter and uh, you know a cross pen and said, sign here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but no, like most authors, I approached them. Um, I had been published once before. I, I had a book um, called uh, 50 Ways to Become a Better Speaker, published through a, a group in Cape Town. And uh, I must admit, it, that was a strange experience because they didn't put very much effort into their PR or marketing of the book. They, mm -hmm. they more or less left me to my own devices. Penguin, on the other hand, have been exactly the opposite. They've been deeply involved in getting publicity, getting it out there and so on. But Fred, the process is interesting. I mean, you you, you send off a, a query and you receive back a form email letter saying, essentially, thanks for sending your submission. Don't call us. We'll call you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then two months later, they say, well, we saw your submission letter. Send us the first chapter and then don't call us. We'll call you. Oh. And after that, it was send us the full manuscript. And thereafter, I got I got the email that, that made me hold my breath, which was, please come into our offices. We'd like to meet you. Mm. And uh, I mean, I, I really held my breath for that entire week. Mm. I didn't want to tell myself that this was happening in case it didn't. Yeah, but it did. So yeah. It's not great. Okay. And uh, South African Book Fair, there's, there's a rumor. Is, will you be there? Yes, absolutely. I'll, I'll be one of the speakers. And uh, I'll be speaking on the topic expert positioning, you know, how to be seen as the, the icon in your industry. Great. Um, and like you mentioned before, you, you're starting with you're doing these uh, speaker boot, boot camps. Um, tell us a bit about that and when your next one is. Absolutely. That, uh, that, that one, in fact, was not actually my idea. I, I had a couple of speakers, generally speaking, young people who are trying to get into this industry, write to me or call me or approach me at events and say, I'd love to do what you do. How do I go about it? And the answer to that question is so in-depth and so long that I eventually thought, well, why don't we get everyone together and turn mm -hmm. it into something of a, a day-long boot camp, uh, a proper course. Wow. And uh, I've done one now. I've got another one coming up in about a month's time. And it's, it's really interesting stuff because what we do is we, we shortcut all the mistakes that speakers make. Uh, so I go, go through practical things like how to approach speakers' bureaus and why most people fail when they approach speakers' bureaus, how to create videos, uh, the correct ways in which to look at putting your presentation together, what tends not to work, uh, how to develop deeper relationship with, relationships sorry, with clients, how to get callbacks, things like that. So it's a, it's a very practical look at the business side of it. 
Okay. And so if anyone wants to book for those speaker boot camps, or if they want to contact you to book you to speak, how do, you, sure. how do people contact Douglas Kruger? Absolutely. Uh, my direct email address is info at douglaskrugerspeaker.com. And uh, my website with uh, videos and free articles is www.douglaskruger.co.za. Well, dear listener, I hope you learned a great deal about the speaking business. And be sure to look out for Douglas's new book. Until next time, you can catch me on Twitter. I'm at Fred Felton.